Yo, in today's video, I have you guys the updated best class setups to use. Yo, in today's video, I have you the best loadouts to use after the most recent update. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 80k and we're getting pretty close. Whenever we hit 80k, we're doing a 5,000 cod point giveaway as well. So if you want to enter, just subscribe. Comment below saying you want to enter and you're entered. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to kick it off with one of the best snipers right now in Rebirth. This is 1 million percent, no doubt, going to be the next sniper meta. It is the ZRG 20mm. It is a Cold War sniper. A lot of you guys might not have this leveled up because, obviously, it's a sniper that no one really used to use. But after the most recent update of all the nerfs, this is literally the best sniper now. Let's talk about it. So the first attachment is going to be the Wrapped Suppressor. This is going to increase the bullet velocity and damage range and all of the other ones don't really matter too much. But we have the Combat Recon next for the bullet velocity and then the 5 round magazine because without this magazine, you only get like 3 bullets. So you definitely need to stick on the 5 round then we're going to be going for the 5 milliwatt laser. This is going to increase the ADS time, making it nice and quick. And the Serpent Wrap is also going to increase the ADS time, making it nice and quick. That is the full loadout though. Trust me, this is really good now. It has unlimited one-shot range. One of the quickest ADSs in the whole entire game out of any sniper. Let's get into the next one. Alright, so next up, we're going to be using the Cooper Carbine. This is really, really good. This is a close to medium range build for it. Let's go ahead and hop into the class. So the first attachment is going to be the MX Silencer, making this thing have less recoil. And then for the barrel, we're going to be using the Cooper Custom Barrel, making it more accurate and a faster fire rate. Talking about faster fire rate, stick on the 60 round drums. It's going to increase that fire rate even more. And it's also going to increase the ADS and the recoil control and accuracy. Then we're going to be going for the, where is it? The Slate Reflector, where is it? I am blind, I cannot see it. Uh, the state reflector, there it is, I went right past it. Um, that is my favourite optic to use on this weapon for close range, but you could use any other one that you like, it's personal preference. Then we're going to be going for the hand stop under barrel for the recoil. Then we're going to be going for the lengthened ammo type for the increased bullet velocity. Fabric rear grip for the mobility, the stock is going to be the removed stock for the increased mobility, ADS, etc. Perk 1 is going to be a couple of different options. You can either have tight grip for the better accuracy, or you can have Felite for the increased, um, just like, mobility and movement speed. So, if you want it to be a little bit more accurate, you can use tight grip, or if you want it to be a bit quicker, you can use Felite, which is going to make the movement speed quicker, and you can also swap weapons quicker. And then finally... We're going to be using fully loaded. Next up, we have the Growl. This is a really good assault rifle after the most recent update. Let's go ahead and hop straight into it. You guys probably already know this class setup by now, so I'm just going to run through it real quick. But you guys want the Monolithic Suppressor, the Archangel, the TAC Laser, the 60 round, and the Commando 4 grip. It's really accurate. It's got great ADS. It's got great aiming stability. And it's just really good at all ranges. So if you haven't used this in a while, it's definitely something that you should start using again. Okay, next up we have the MP40. Surprise, surprise. Obviously, this is going to still be a good weapon. Doesn't matter if they nerf this weapon a million times. It's still going to be up there as one of the best SMGs. So we have the recoil booster for the fire rate. And then the short barrel for the increased damage range and limb damage. Then we're going to be going for the skeletal under barrel for the increased ADS. Then the Gorenko 45 round mags for the increased ADS movement speed, recoil control and fire rate. Then lengthened. Rear grip is going to be either two options. You can use the fabric grip for more mobility, ADS, etc. Or you can use the stippled grip tape for more increased recoil control. For the optic, I like to use the last optic on the list, but you can use any optic of your choice, whatever you're comfortable with. Then we're going to be using the folding stock for the increased movement speed. Perk 1 is going to be Perfectionist for the recoil control, and Perk 2 is going to be Quick for the movement speed. Next up, we have the PP-19 Bison. This is really, really good. It's actually a really good SMG. It did get a buff in, like, two updates ago, so 
definitely something you guys should try if you haven't yet. Now, it's, this is a pretty simple class because it's only got five attachments, so I'm going to run through it just nice and quickly. We have the Monolithic Suppressor for the damage range. The barrel is going to be the Steel Barrel. This is going to increase the damage range, recoil control, etc. Tack Laser for the increased mobility. Stippled Grip Tape for the increased ADS and Sprint Fire Time. And then No Stock for the increased mobility again. That is the full loadout. I'm going to get straight into the next one. Next up, we have the Vargo 52, which is one of the best assault rifles. In the most recent update, they did nerf the recoil on this weapon, making it a little bit more noticeable. However, it really doesn't make a difference. It does have a tiny bit more recoil, but it's still one of the best assault rifles. So you want to use the Gru Suppressor for the increased recoil control. For the barrel, you want to use the Task Force Barrel for the increased recoil control. And then you want to use the 60 round magazine with the axle three times and then the Spetness Grip. First three attachments are going to increase the recoil control. The barrel and the muzzle are going to also increase the damage range and bullet velocity. 60 round mag and then the axle three times. It's a pretty good weapon. Definitely give it a go. The next weapon is going to be the XM4, another Cold War Assault Rifle. I feel like all the Cold War Assault Rifles are definitely taken over this game. Pretty much most of them are really, really good. This is the XM4 and it's probably one of my favourites out of every single one. So for the muzzle, we're going for the Agency and then the Task Force Barrel, just like every other weapon. And then we're going to be going for the 60 round magazine and the Axle 3x scope. Once again, this is a pretty simple class. I don't want to talk about it too much because the Cold War weapons and the Modern Warfare weapons only have five attachments and it's pretty oh i, I miss it, uh, the field agent grip actually but yeah there's a uh, only five attachments so you know it's pretty straightforward stuff it's really accurate just try it out the next weapon is going to be the owen gun they did nerf this weapon but it really didn't do anything it's still one of the top time to kill smgs in the entire game so you want to use the recoil booster then the rapid bow both increasing the fire rate the magazine is going to be the Gorenko 72, increasing the fire rate and the recoil control. Then the lengthened ammo type. The optic is going to be the Model 47. I'd recommend using this one over any other. And then the remove stock for the mobility. Underbrow is going to be the hand stop for the increased recoil control. And then the rear grip is going to be stippled grip for more recoil control. Perk 1 is going to be brace for recoil control once again. And then perk 2 is going to be quick for the sprint speed. That is the full class, let's get on to the next one. Alright, so next up we have the Cold War AK-47. This is one of the best assault rifles in the game. The time to kill is very quick and it does have a pretty low recoil. It does have some recoil, but as long as you're good at controlling it, you're not really going to have any problems. Attachments. So we have the Gru Suppressor and the Barrel for the increased recoil control and range. Then the Spetness Grip for more recoil control, the 45 round magazine and the three times scope. Now, what's different on this Cold War Assault Rifle is usually, like on the XM4, for example, or the Vargo, you would use like the 60 round mag. But on this one, make sure to use the 45 round mag because the ADS with the 60 on this one is very slow. So make sure to use the 45 instead. Finally, in the video, we have the OTS-9, which is definitely one of the best SMGs and it has been for so long. Let's get into the class. Once again, a pretty basic class. It only has five attachments, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But it definitely is one of the best weapons to use right now. This is the loadout I'd recommend. We've got the Gru Suppressor for the recoil control. Then we have the Task Force for the effective damage range, strafe speed, making it a little bit quicker. Skeletal Stock for the mo mobility. Serpent Wrap for the mobility. And then the Fast Mag. You guys are good to go. That is the 10 loadout. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.